This is the 17th of May, 2017, uh, 2018. We're at Vincent Corporation. We're in the uh, screw department here. And um, yeah, this is where we make uh, screws for our screw presses. Uh, now we have got lots of screws. We got one of the biggest lathes in the state of Florida. We can turn a 40 inch screw. And uh, this morning we did testing with a CP6 running marigolds. Yeah, here's the marigolds uh, press cake. In the press cake we ran uh, in that little press, which we shoved out of the way. Uh, what we're doing, oh, we also ran today, we ran uh, uh, citrus waste. So we've got uh, some citrus, we were testing a shredder. So here's a shredder we tested. And another shredder we tested over here. This one worked extremely well. We also, I see red down here, we were testing sugar beets. Uh, first thing this morning, that was not my program. And uh, what we're about to do is coffee. We have uh, coffee ground. And um, here's the coffee ground. If I, um, I can squeeze water out of them. And so these are normal coffee grounds, spent coffee. Uh, looking at the green size, I can see I've got some fines on my palm, and at the same size, the flakes are some of them a little uh, average, maybe a little bigger than average. The press we're going to use, well, that's the one they used on sugar beets. It has a shorter screen. Uh, here's the press we're going to use on the uh, coffee. It has a longer screen. The length of the screen is four times the diameter on this one. The length of that screen is only three times the diameter. Uh, inlet hopper, you can see the screw. We have a uh, motor, runs on 110 volts, even though it is hooked up to a VFD. And uh, so we plug it in the wall. Gearbox, inlet hopper, screen. We're using a wet wire screen here. You can see the flight through there. Anyway, this screen has a, about a 15,000, uh, 350 micron opening. Here's a discharge cone uh, with an air cylinder to push it shut, and so it will go like that to squeeze the water out. Okay, we're starting uh, our initial run, and we're already getting some free liquid coming out. Wow, we've got some all the way down to the end here. We have the cone shut. Usually I expect some water to run down here. Yeah, I got water running down there. That happens because this material has not been squeezed or compressed. It's just been conveyed. As soon as we have some cake coming out, it's already starting to come out. Uh, we're running at 20 RPM and with two bar uh, 30 PSI air pressure. At 30 PSI is on the air cylinder here. Um, looking good. Um, in the inlet hopper, it's feeding more or less, there we go. This press does tend to bridge, that is we neck down from an 8 inch opening down to a 4 inch screw so it has a natural tendency to bridge. So with a 4 inch press we always were prepared to break any bridge, we try to limit the feed. There's the press liquor coming out. And uh, I'm about ready to start the test. Okay. Test going uh, nicely. Press liquor down there. Press liquor coming through the screen well. Cake coming out. If I take this cake and it feels dry in my hand, and if I squeeze it, um, no, I can't even make my hand moist. Um, chances are this is about as dry as you can get spent coffee, someplace between 50 to 60 percent moisture content. We can, we can always get it below slightly, at least 60. It depends on the roasting and the flaking and the extraction as to what moisture content you get in the press cake. This is going very well. That is a, a good throughput for a CP4 screw press. Uh, press liquor separation is good. We're getting some 
of the free water down here at the beginning and we're squeezing out the rest of the water, we're not getting much in the middle. Um, that's the way it is. Uh, here's where we um, run uh, moisture analysis, uh, both uh, press liquor, uh, that's another press liquor, and uh, you can see samples of material that uh, from yesterday's testing. Here's the uh, coffee. And uh, in the, oh, we have an oven. We keep it below uh, 100 centigrade. And there you can see some, um, you know, stuff. Press liquor looks like this when it dries out. Oh, and my coffee, press liquor. Uh, anyway, we'll have the results later on today.